And the fun continues, because we now have to make our way back out. And yeah, you had to hit up every single one of those caskets. So, yeah, it's 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 one of those fun circle events, you know, where you're like, you gotta walk in a circle, you know, to learn the truth that you already know. You're really, really good at your job. Like, like, gosh darn it. Like, did I really need the, just a boost of confidence? They couldn't have been like, oh, we magically enhanced your skills or something. You know, and take you to another level you never knew was possible before. I mean, at least it's going to be good for uh, the leveling prospects, I suppose. It's just getting T.S. doing this many fights, you know, in a row. It just drags, man. Okay, we gotta go that way, yeah. We gotta work our way back out the way we came. <sighs> like, like, it's the worst feeling when you gotta do that much backtracking. And it's not like my damage output's really increasing that fast either, right? Oh, come on! Oh, jeez. Gotta try and get him back up. Okay, we'll recover him at least. Take that out, and hopefully Nia doesn't get targeted, because she's the only one with Renew. I don't have many life items on hand right now. Okay... I don't have a... Oh, yeah, I was looking at the wrong spell. Like, come on, it doesn't cost that much to cast Cure. Come on, just take it out. And then there was one. Ow. Gosh darn it. Well, just end it real quick and then heal. Gosh darn it. Can he please learn some basic healing spells? Admittedly, I can do some basic healing with uh, our friend over here, too. It's just... Ugh. This is not what I want to be spending my AP on, you know? Okay, we gotta go this way. And another fight, of course. Well, at least it's an easy target this time. Come on, just finish it off and let's move on. I don't care if it gives me a little money, it's it's not enough to justify the wasting of my time. And we wanna go this way, yeah. Don't wanna do anything super clever, just get out. Uh, I wish I had something more engaging to talk about, but the only other thing I can think about right now is politics, and while it is funny, you know, hearing about Mike Lindell, you know, running off the stage when he got told he can't get out of the, uh, defamation lawsuit he's in with Dominion right now, you know, there's there's only so much that's gonna be able to carry a conversation. I could talk about, uh, Poco Little Dog Lost, I suppose, but I was planning on talking about that, you know, for a Bargain Bin Saturday episode, you know, so I don't want to do it twice. And there's not too much I have to say about the movie anyway. I mean, it was a pretty boring movie. Mainly because, you know, it's mostly we watching a little dog run around the desert. Uh, honestly, the most interesting things about the movie have nothing to do with the movie. It's more, more to do with the dog's name, Poco. Because um, my dad used to have a dog named Poco. Not because of that movie, um, but because his favorite band was named Poco. Which, its original name was Pogo, but they had to change it because, like, there was a comic strip by the same name that was a political comic strip. So they decided, you know, we'll just change the G to a C and we're all good, and hence Pogo was born in 1968. Well, after a, a threatened lawsuit, yeah. And I realized that would have been, you know, when Pogo was founded, but still, you know. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Of course, most of the members were from um, Buffalo, Springfield, you know, when that act went under because the lead singer or something died. Buffalo, Springfield died. I'm not sure what part he played, to be honest, but I, I would assume since he was the na the face of the pen, you know, considering it used his name, I would assume, you know, he was the lead singer. That seems to usually be the case with most bands that use, you know, someone's first name, like they're named after the lead singer. At least that's my experience. I don't know about other people. It's a bit weird, you know, if you name your band after the drummer, right? I mean, I guess you could. 
There's nothing stopping you from doing that. But yeah, this is where the exit spell would have come really in handy, right? Oh yeah, I, I don't want to go this way. We might fall down a freaking trap. <sighs> Again. I mean, I, there's definitely items to be had, but I assume it's just another herb and stuff at this point, and, and it's just not worth it. Like, no matter what it is, it's 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 not worth it. Like, okay, so we just gotta go down. I forgot this is where we fought the eye. Yeah. Oh gosh, darn it! Could you guys just let me run? And the answer just had to be no. Well, at least we got the outspeed of fly, finally. If I knew we had the outspeed option, I'd probably would just kill them anyway. They're not worth much, but why not? Yeah. Well, smash it. Why can't I smash the rock? Gosh darn it. None of them strong enough? I guess I gotta come back with the right character to get the Batarang, or whatever that is. That's annoying. Like, oh, you want the, the Rang? So you can do more damage to entire enemy parties? Well, uh, you gotta smash the rock first. But I don't have a character that can do that yet! Well, I guess you're gonna be back. If you want it, that badly. And by then I'll probably have forgotten it's there! It's hard to remember stuff from forever ago, you know? Like, do I absolutely need it? Probably not. I just hate being shown something and then being told, you know, you can't have it. Unless you go out of your way for it. You know, that just sucks. Gosh darn it. I go after that stinking mummy again. Because you know that thing's packing spells. And I really don't want to deal with spell damage. Because that would be the worst. Though admittedly I could have maybe spread the damage out a bit better. Eh, it doesn't matter. I still wouldn't have lessened how many hits I'd have to deal with. I'm like, oh, it was a more efficient kill, but... Does it, does it change how much damage I was going to take? No. Then doesn't make a difference at all. Okay, I guess I'll uh, grab that. Oh, I forgot to switch characters back. Gosh darn it. I don't want to go through the middle there. Because it's undoubtedly going to be a gosh darn uh, trap door there again. Admittedly, you know, I'd pop up closer to the door that way, maybe, you know, if I got over there to the ladder again, but I really don't want to walk to that floor again, because there's no real markings to the ladder, you know, to get back up. I guess technically it's a stairwell, but you get the point, like, it's an irritating walk. Just gotta try and stay out of the middle of that stuff. And finally, we're allowed to run from a fight for a change. Um, yeah, okay, found the trap, alright. There we go, it's over here. Gosh darn it. Well, it's fine, whatever. I'll, I'll take the 30-some points in damage. I'll be, I'll be, it's gonna only be for, like, what, 200 points of experience? Though, you know, uh, if we had the rank, maybe it would be a bit better. Though we'd still end up taking at least one round of damage for that, so it'd still suck. Can we please almost be done? Thank you. Like, we're finally out. And I use the warp spell now. Oh, I'm out of uh, energy, so no. Ah, screw it. We'll just walk across this and get thrown real quick. Notice so the whirlpools can feel like they're more important than they really are. They took me for a whirl. Yeah, I'd like to heal up. 
you know, I guess we'll just call it quits for now. Yeah, I know, we spent three episodes on one dungeon, but it is what it is. Until next time, then. See ya.